What's up guys, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can pull out the best clips for your final project by using a stacked timeline workflow. So this is a really useful tip and method to know when you're working with lots of footage that you want to eventually trim down to maybe fit a song or even have multiple drafts of the same project that you can work between easily. So what I'm working with is a bunch of clips that I got over the weekend at Electric Forest Music Festival. So this is over an hour of footage, just loaded it all into my project and threw it all in the timeline. So it's a chronological four day raw uncut amount of clips. Now, if I was to try to throw the song on here and start working and trim it down, it would almost just be impossible to manage and I wouldn't really know where to start. So what we can do is create another new timeline and stack it underneath for us to start dragging and picking our favorite moments too. So in order to do this, we're gonna to go to File, New, Sequence, and we'll create a new sequence at the size that we plan to export in. So in my case, it was 1080p, 24 frames per second, and I'll press Open, and what that'll do is create a new sequence, but you can see it's on a tab, so it's still not really easy to work between. But since Premiere Pro allows you to, to arrange the panels in any way that you want, you can actually move and attach this underneath to stack it in sort of a pancake timeline view. Now I can go through my uncut hour long amount of clips and I can just pick and drag out my favorite moments. So essentially I can create multiple different drafts of the same project. So if I wanted to, I could first go through and pick out everything I want. So let's say I picked out all my favorite moments that I was sure I wanted. And then if I wanted, I could even go through and open another sequence and stack it yet again. And I could have kind of three different drafts that I'm working from. So I could have my uncut raw that's really easy for me to scan and move along in a timeline view rather than going into my project media bin and trying to scroll through all these files that there's lots of. It's easier for me to remember day by day what happened, you know, day one, day two, day three. So I can kind of remember where a clip is sequentially. And I can then drag it down to say the clips that I know I want and then my finalized clips that I'm editing to. So I'm actually working on a set to music, more cinematic cut of all this footage. And this is my actual timelines that I have been working with. I have all my raw footage here. And then I first pulled it into a good clips section, clips that I think were nice action packed that I planned to set to the music. And you can see I cut it down from an hour to about 30 minutes that way. And then I even went more detailed. I created a new timeline just for the drops. So just for the, the parts of the music where the beat dropped for the climax of the song that I'm gonna do here. And you can even go more in depth by labeling things certain colors. So you can right click certain things, label them different colors. So if you really wanted to get organized, you could label all your daytime shots blue and all your nighttime shots red or separate things in whatever way you want. But basically by stacking your timelines into two different pancakes, I can scan through all of my drops here and say, okay, I wanna pull that into this. I wanna pull that into this part of my project. And it makes it a lot more manageable for you to pull from different canvases and different sections to eventually trim down into your final sequence or your final draft. So hopefully this tip comes in handy for you guys with stacked timelines. This is just how I'm implementing it. Stay tuned for this project dropping shortly. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on below. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for new videos every week. And go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay in touch with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.